In this video, we are going to go over adding with a hundreds chart. You'll need a hundreds chart and some kind of marker, like a penny or dime, or even better, something clear like a game piece. Once you have those ready, you're ready to start. Let's do a bit of a review. On a hundreds chart, when we go to the right, we get bigger by one. One, two, three, four. We can think four plus one is five. Five plus one is six, and so on. It works anywhere on the hundreds chart. 64 plus one is 65. 85 plus one is one to the right, 86. When we go down on the hundreds chart, we get big, bigger by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And again, that works anywhere on the hundreds chart. 4 plus 10 is going straight down, 14. 62 plus 10, straight down, 72. Remembering those two things will make adding on the hundreds chart very easy. Let's start with an easy question. Let's start with 6 plus 10. I'm going to start at the 6. And if you remember, going straight down is plus 10, 16. Let's try another one. 34 plus 2. 34, and if I remember, going to the right, I'm going to be adding 1. So 1, 2. 34 plus 2 is 36. Now we're ready to try a harder one. Let's try 45 plus 22. I'm going to start at 45. And I'm going to start with the tens place and then count on the ones. 45 plus 10 plus 20 plus 21 plus 22 is 67. Let's try another one. Let's try 68 plus 25. So I'm going to start at the 68, 10, 20, 21, 22. Do you know where to go now? Yep, one more is going to be 91. So we're going to carry on there. I've lost track of my counting, so let's go back. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 68 plus 25 is 93. If you ever lose track of your counting, it's always a good idea to double check your answer. So I'm going to do that since I had to stop a few times. Start at 68, yep. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Let's try another one where we have to move from the end of one row to the beginning of another. Let's try 49 plus 19. 49, one, 10 more is 59. So I'm at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 49 plus 19 is 68. I'm going to show you two more things on the hundreds chart to help making, make adding easier for you. When you go diagonal to the right, it's like adding 10, 11. So anytime you have to add 11, you just have to go diagonal to the right. Let's try one. 22 plus 11. I could go 10, 
11, or if I remember diagonally to the right is 11, I can do it in one move. 11 more than 22 is 33. Let's try another one. 76 plus 11. Diagonally to the right, 87. The other diagonal, the diagonal to the left, let's see how many more that is. So if I went from 5 to 14, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Diagonally to the left, I can add 9. So let's try that. Diagonally to the left, adding 9. 10 plus 9. Start at the 10. I could count on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or I could remember the rule diagonally to the left is plus 9. Both ways, both strategies, get me to the same answer, 19. Let's try one more. 56 plus 9. Diagonally to the left, 65. So let's review some of the things that you learned in this video. On a hundreds chart, when you go to the right, it gets bigger by 1. On the hundreds chart, when you go down, it gets bigger by 10. When you go diagonally to the right, it gets bigger by 11. And when you go diagonally to the left, it gets bigger by 9. I hope these strategies help you when you're adding bigger numbers. Now try one on your own. What is 80? 3 plus 10. Good luck.